it's finally happened. The zombie apocalypse is here. But you're prepared. You got your knives and your swords and your shotguns and your tactical carbines and your guns and your knives and your, your ammunition. Uh, you also have your uh, flashlights and you know other other tools that you might need as well as uh, water, medical supplies, and food. So look at you, you're all set except for the fact that sometimes zombies break in so you need to you're not going to be able to carry all this on you so you need to be able to just grab something and go. So that's where this little guy comes in which is the zombie apocalypse survival kit. Okay, so right on top we have this Mora knife. This is a fixed blade knife uh, made in Sweden. And this is a uh, basically an inexpensive bushcraft knife. Um, we have this Recon 1, and this is from Cold Steel. And it has a Tanto point, uh, so this is a, it's a very strong tip, and it can penetrate a lot of things, um, as well as car hoods. Got an orange bandana. There's about a hundred different uses for this. Uh, the reason why it's orange is because you can use this as a communication device if you're trying to signal. We have a clean canteen, and I'll go into more detail about that. We have a waterproof map of the area. We have some reusable glow sticks. Uh, red is great because yeah, you, you're still able to uh, maintain your night vision with the color red. Um, also, just some energy drinks in here. Keep your energy up as you're slaying uh, zombies, as well as a big lighter. Okay, so that's everything that's in the top. Let's look at what's inside the clean canteen. Okay, so inside the clean canteen, we have this um, water filter. This is a water purification uh, device. It's called the Life Straw. Um, you can pretty much use any sort of water source and, uh, and just drink through this and you're, you'll be good to go as long as it's not um, ocean water. Um, inside we have water purification tablets um, as well as the lanyard that the Life Straw uses if you, if you want to just keep that around your neck. Another good thing about the clean canteen is that it's stainless steel so um, you can boil water inside of this as well to purify it. So right on top we have a first aid kit. So let me go ahead and open up the first aid kit. Um, we have some Neosporin. We have a uh, hand sanitizer. Uh, we also have chapstick. Chapstick is good for, um, it's, it's also a fire uh, tinder as well. We also have moleskin and band-aids. Moleskin is great because you're going to be walking a lot. Uh, we got crazy glue in there too. Um, we have little gloves, little latex gloves. We also have some quick clot right in the back here. And a little dust mask. Uh, we have a uh, feminine hygiene napkin, which is great for gathering blood. Some other first aid stuff in here as well, such as uh, medicines and stuff. We have a combat tourniquet. Um, th one of the fastest things that will kill you um, in a non-zombie environment, if you're outdoors, is the um, is freezing. It's good to have things that will keep you warm. We got a survival blanket, we got some hand warmers, and we have a, a little bivy as well. This is the sole emergency bivy. You're still going to use the bathroom even if there's a zombie apocalypse. Uh, we also have um, some beef jerky. We got a cat too. More beef jerky. Also uh, some cliff bars. You got a hundred feet of 550 paracord. This is military grade. Oh, these things are pretty cool. Um, these you can just light them. The, even the package themselves is very flammable. So it's some fire tinder. Um, we got tools. So the items that we have in here, we have a little big lighter. We have a little pencil. We have duct tape and some extra matches. Oh, there's matches right here as well. Um, we have a Leatherman juice multi-tool. That's the juice S2. We have a little uh, little marker just in case you want to leave um, leave messages to other survivors. Uh, we have uh, several zip ties right here, just in case you need. You know, there's thousands of uses for that. 
Um, we also have a magnesium fire striker. And it comes with a little saw thing. And also uh, it has attached to it one of those um, can openers. We also have a little maintenance gun clock. You know, if you're going to survive, if you, if you last a long time, you might need one of those at some point. Okay, so that's everything in the tools. All right, and then uh, over here we got some some work gloves. There's a North Face work gloves. Uh, we have ammo underneath here. Um, we also have. A headlamp. This is also red, so you don't lose your night vision. One of the most overlooked item, I think, in uh, most people's zombie apocalypse uh, kits, is a uh, some sort of optic, some sort of monoculars or binoculars. So this will help you be able to look downrange to see if there are zombies in the area that you're going to be going to. Um, we got a paracord bracelet with a compass on it. And then the uh, last items that we have here are just uh, some boxes of ammo. Okay, and the ammo that I've chosen is a 38 Special uh, with Plus P as well as Slugs. And as well as, uh, I think these are more, oh, there you okay, 38 Special. So um, that's a 357 which shoots 38 as well, as some of y'all know. And my shotgun is a 12 gauge shotgun and it holds 7 plus 1 rounds. Now the reason I have slugs is because in an apocalypse situation if there really are zombies um, the brain will be dehydrated and the bullet um, you're going to need something that that's, that really packs a punch so um, these these will pack a, a bigger punch than something like a 22 even though I do have a, uh, a 22 even though I have a 22 over there um, it just it's just not going to pack as big of a punch as some of the other um, calipers do. Hey, thanks for watching my zombie apocalypse survival kit video. If you'd like to see more zombie apocalypse survival videos, uh, please click on the like button so I know that y'all are into this kind of videos. Um, I made a video on my zombie apocalypse survival bag, so be sure to check that out. I'll put uh, the link in the description below. Um, one of the questions that I get asked a lot whenever I make these types of videos is if I believe in the zombie apocalypse. And to me, the um, answer is irrelevant because if you're prepared for the zombie apocalypse, you're really prepared for everything. So uh, thanks again for, um, for watching my video and uh, uh, feel free to subscribe. I got some big giveaways coming up early next year. Y'all have a Merry Christmas. Say bye, kitty.